Welcome to Sewing with Stacy. I'm Stacy, and today I'm gonna to show you how to oil up your machine. Today I'm gonna to use my Singer Heavy Duty 4452, which is also equivalent to the 4432. And if you're ever sewing with it and it feels like those gears are grinding a little bit or it sounds a little tinny, that's a clear indicator that you need to oil your machine. So we're gonna get into that today. Most of the tools that I'm using are linked in the description below if you wanna follow along. So here are some of the tools we'll need today. You're gonna to need a paper towel, your brush, the key or a small screwdriver, and then of course you're gonna need your machine oil. For a link to what I'm using, check out the description below. Start by disassembling your machine. Take out the bobbin, remove your presser foot, unscrew the needle, and then get prepared to take your faceplate off. Once again, for safety reasons, you should unplug your machine from the wall. So I have not so that you can still see inside the machine and what I'm doing. Gently lift that faceplate up at an angle and get prepared to take out the bobbin housing. Yours might gently lift out, but how mine is manufactured, I have to remove this small arm using the key, I loosen the screws, and then I can lift that piece out and my bobbin housing. Before you oil your machine, you're gonna to wanna to clean it out. For more information on how to properly clean out your entire machine, see my other video on how to clean your machine. Right in the middle underneath your bobbin housing is a small cotton wick. You can see me pull it up here, and you can see that it's only about halfway covered in what looks like black gunk, but that's actually machine oil. So it looks like my oil is low and we're gonna put some oil into the machine and it's actually a lot simpler than most people think it is I just open my oil and very gently squeeze two drops right into the center that oil wick is gonna suck that all up and appropriately distribute the oil throughout your machine less is more when in doubt only use a couple drops you really don't need a lot of oil to keep your machine going once you've placed the oil right into that center so that the oil wick sucks it up, it's time to replace everything in your machine. Wipe up any oil that may have spilled, and then start replacing your bobbin housing, the arm, and then put the faceplate back in at an angle. You can then re-thread your machine and be ready for your next project. I would highly suggest that you use a scrap piece of fabric just to run it through mach the machine before you start your next project in case any oil wants to come up and through. You don't want to get any oil spots on your brand new project. Don't forget to check out more Sewing with Stacy on my YouTube channel for information about how to thread your machine and how to clean it properly. One feature of your machine that's really handy and helpful is your needle threader. Here's a nice close-up of how to use your automatic needle threader. Once you've threaded the upper half of your machine, pull the automatic needle threader down and push it forward. Create like a number four between the arms on the front of the needle threader. The thread will be in front of the eye of the needle, but behind the little arms. Use the tab to gently push backward and it will pull the thread through the eye of the needle for you. And then all you have to do is finish pulling the thread through. Here's what it looks like from the side. Create that number four through the arms but in front of the needle. Gently push back and it pulls the thread through the eye of the needle. Release. And then all you have to do is complete pulling that thread through the eye of the needle and your machine has automatically threaded itself. That's it, you're all oiled up and ready to go. Last comment on here is that you wanna maybe run a test piece of fabric through your machine before you put in your real project, just in case any loose oil gets picked up on there. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And again, most of the tools I use are linked in the description. And if you're looking for some really cool, interesting custom fabric, check out TMR Tours over on Etsy. They've got some great custom prints that I'm going to start showcasing in some upcoming projects. Until next time, guys, I'm Stacy, and I'll see you between the scenes. Mm -hmm.